Okay, I wanted to take a minute real quickly to show you something that we changed in the way that we lay out the content in a lesson plan. It's a pretty significant change for, for many of you who, uh, who experienced this layout for quite a few years and then we changed it toward the middle of last year uh, to compartmentalize parts of the lessons into three different sections, the plan and prepare, the teach and learn, and the review and record, and you're probably all familiar with that. Uh, because you've used it over the last six months. That said, with the new um, uh, open and go lesson plans and the option to toggle between the full version, which is the deep dive version and the open and go lesson plan, um, there really isn't a need to compartmentalize like that. We just wanted to chop the content up into smaller bits so it wasn't quite as overwhelming. Uh, it was a short term strategy uh, to a real problem that we couldn't solve at that point. But with this, with the new open and go lesson plans, we really feel like we are solving the real problem, which is that a lot of families have um, much less time than, you know, the 90 minutes that a deep dive or a full version lesson plan would take to complete. So as we've uh, launched that, it just came to our attention from our course managers. We have about 35 family school moms who have edited all of this content and made these short and sweet open and go lesson plans, and they've done a fantastic job. And I was visiting with one of them recently, and she mentioned it would be really nice to have the preparation right there at my fingertips at the top of the lesson. It would be more open and go coincidentally as well. Uh, she also said that she felt that um, these re review and record ideas, particularly the record ideas at the end of the lesson were getting missed, that they were viewed even as optional or even potentially just being missed altogether. And so we brought those back as well. So I just wanted to show you this so you're not confused. You do not see the plan and prepare here at the top. You do not see the review and record, but that information is still here. Uh, the preparation material that you would need in your home is listed here at the top under materials and then you have lesson printables which is the which are all the handouts and the uh, activity or not the activities but the resources that the lesson uses the pdfs the links the videos it's all right here we're going to update this so that it lists just the printables pretty soon and then you'll have the ability to click at the bottom for a full list like you currently see but james is working on that today so and in, in possibly even by tomorrow, all you'll see here in this list are these PDFs, the things that you might print for the lesson. So you can have really quick access to those printables. Uh, at the bottom is the vocabulary. So within this preparation uh, content block, you open it up and you can see the materials you need to get together, any printables that you might need for this lesson, and then any new vocabulary that might be unfamiliar to your children. Um, that will be by default closed so that you when you open the lesson you have quick view of the desired result the academic concept gospel principles I'm looking at the deep dive lesson so if we toggle over to the open and go lesson you can see it's a little bit different we take off the desired result we just show you the academic concept and gospel principle and move right into the attention activity but the preparation section is all the same uh, the list of printables will be updated based on what's uh, needed for the open and go lesson. So the list of handouts that we use in the open and go lesson will be uh, specific to that version. Same with the deep dive. Um, when you get to the end of the lesson, you'll see two, no, two, two new accordions. You see the record, and if you open up record, You'll see the activities and assignments for the observer. Sometimes all family is there too. This particular lesson doesn't have an idea for all children together. Most of them do, but you just open those up. Observer, think early elementary, planner upper elementary, scholar is the middle school, and then the enrichment ideas. If you uh, just wanna look for some other ideas, you didn't see something that you thought was just right for your family or your children um, or a particular child, then always look in this enrichment section. There's always lots of really good ideas here. Poster activity, talk, family follow-up, further research, additional activity, crossword puzzle. Uh, the resources that uh, you would need for enrichment will not be at the top. 
So we're not going to include every resource in the enrichment because it is enrichment. It's optional. It's, it's not intended to be something that's necessary for the lesson, for the version that you're using. And so when you open this preparation tab here, the, um, the lesson principles will include everything through the lesson and everything through the, um, through the record section. Okay, hope that's helpful and that you're not too confused when you saw a lesson uh, that was a little bit different today. If you logged in and taught a lesson or prepared for a lesson, you may have wondered where those two sections went. Uh, so I wanted to take a minute to just clarify. All right, hope that's a, a nice improvement for you and it makes everything more open and go, even the deep dive version. Have a good day.